So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to easily spot Photoshop pictures, if that's what you wanna do. I'll be showing you how to easily manipulate pictures, and I'm even going to talk a little bit about being an influencer and their beauty enhancements. So if you're interested in those topics, just keep on watching. So if we take away the Photoshop aspect to this conversation, you will still see that Instagram influencers or celebrities still look better than the average person. Why is that? Because they got money. They could of course be blessed with amazing jeans, or they could enhance themselves with filler, Botox, plastic surgery, a lot of facials. And you know, the crazy thing is there's a high, high, high possibility that they are getting these procedures for free. Actually, they're getting it for free, and some of them even get money for it. Just a quick disclaimer, the girls I showed you previously for demonstration purposes are not the influencers I'm talking about. I actually do not think that they're getting things done for free. They're just there for a demonstration so yeah just letting you know they fly out to korea make a vlog out of it and recommend their doctor so yeah i know for a fact that a lot of influencers are getting their lips done for free my lips were my favorite feature on my face it's really mostly curiosity that got me to do it and especially as a beauty vlogger you get offers to do it for free so i decided why not and it's honestly a win-win situation for them and the doctor who's doing their procedures first of all because their fans are probably super happy about the fact that they're being so honest with their procedures and what they get done and stuff so also they're getting free things done honestly a win-win situation disclaimer i'm just letting you know that i think it's totally okay of influencers accepting free procedures i'm basically just telling you this so you know how easily accessible it is for instagram influencers to get these procedures done and that's all i'm trying to say with this actually so with that being said let's talk about these non-surgical procedures anything that you inject in your face no cuts no knives no no nothing so if an influencer ever tells you i've never been under a knife that doesn't mean they didn't get any injections let me just tell you things that botox can do it's a lot so the obvious one is botox equals preventing wrinkles so botox is basically a muscle relaxer reliever that's what most people think botox can do but botox can actually do so much more it can give you a brow lift without having to pull back your skin it can help with acne it can shrink down your cheeks an example i could show you is michelle fawn she got masseter botox done and chin filler and that's all without shaving any bones off now let me tell you what fillers can do to your face um the most common one is lip filler you gotta be careful though because lip filler is not for everyone if your face structure doesn't fit lip fillers then it might look pretty odd so now let me show you some celebrities where i think the lip filler really suits them and i think ariana has good lip filler madison beer cindy kimberly gabby demartino and i think they all looked absolutely gorgeous with their normal size lips but i I think the lip filler do suit them so so yeah they feel enhanced with these fillers and i'm happy for them i remember lily may mac saying that she got bigger lips for wearing braces and i believed her i thought i would get pouty lips when i get these braces and guess what no it's not true anyway back to the filler you can basically put filler anywhere you want to you can like have a non-surgical nose job which is insane it can actually make your nose look smaller cheek filler you can do filler on your chin and so on heck you can even put a freaking donut into your forehead if you would like now think about it they can all do these enhancements without getting cut open you got eye bags just inject them with filler you got eye bags just put some permanent concealer on your face got a double chin guess what there is a freaking injection that will make your double chin disappear it basically like kills your fat cells and they will never come back wanna lie about having head Chromia, just insert a freaking contact lens into your eye which can kill you don't do it so basically these things are face tuned in real life and the crazy thing is these people get these procedures done and they still edit their freaking pictures the beauty standards are just gonna get insane imagine getting so many things done for vanity and still editing your pictures am i against cosmetic procedures absolutely not i believe if it truly makes them happy and they're doing it for themselves then i think it's totally okay and their choice 
today let's talk about the psychology of instagram so to be fair i do understand them i do understand why they seek perfection why they want to edit themselves i feel for them and i definitely do not think that they're bad people i don't think they're trying to make people feel insecure about themselves and i even believe that striving to be an instagram model is an actual career path i don't know if it's a fulfilling one but it definitely is a high income career path i don't think that anyone should drop out of school or college to become an internet sensation but i understand the grind because you know if you have a hundred thousand instagram followers it's like five to ten k for one sponsored post but you have to think about that instagram modeling is just a job for being admired for being beautiful you're probably gonna get reduced to having a pretty face and the pressure is high the competition is high i understand why they seek perfection because that's how they get money if you have like a little bit of a belly then people are gonna comment on that so a little bit of that will fix that problem and you know some of them actually use their platform to spread love and positivity and and some of them just sell you weird like detox teas which i highly recommend you to not take because those teas are just scams those teas are laxatives they will just make you no tea will help you lose weight. Do you remember when waist trainers was a thing? Oh my god. When in reality, they just use Photoshop to freaking cinch in their waist. Do you even know how much big companies save for investing in influencer marketing instead of TV ads? Influencer marketing at the moment is so much more effective than TV ads because, because it's so much cheaper to just send 5 to 10k to one influencer instead of a big production company. And also, people tend to trust influencers more than things they see on tv because they feel more connected to the person basically all i'm trying to say is um i understand them it happened to me as well all right guys so just to let you know i filmed this video at like 3 a.m in the morning and i actually drank a red bull before this but it gave me huge anxiety attacks so if i seem sad or something yeah that's that's the reason it actually takes a lot of planning and effort to create a good looking Instagram account. A lot of influencers use apps like Unnum or Planoli to plan out their Instagram posts because you know if you're posting six selfies in a row that can look pretty overwhelming to the eye and it's not really aesthetically pleasing no matter how pretty you look. So you gotta space out the selfies with filler photos for example. My recipe is close up or selfie, then I take a full body shot, then landscape or food a picture of random pretty things and then I can post a selfie again. I believe that cycle is looking pretty good. Some influencers live and take pictures and some of them live to take pictures. In some way, both are fine, but if your life revolves around taking Instagram pictures, then maybe you should like take a step back to reflect your whole life. But for me personally, I could never post in front of other people. Only my bestest friends and my brother can take pictures of me or else I get super awkward whenever I don't have people taking pictures of me. I take them myself. I do that by setting my phone on some surface and then I hit the record button and just start posing and it's honestly so awkward to look at these videos so for example this picture took me like five minutes to make you know it was golden hour and i was sitting on the bench it looks probably super candid as if someone took a picture of me randomly and i posed like that but five minutes of me posing in different ways and yeah here's me with a chicken nugget imagine seeing someone being on their phone posing with a chicken nugget how also taking pictures of your food is the most awkward thing ever so yeah now you got a lot of pictures now you gotta find the perfect picture out of 200 but yeah no matter how candid a picture might seem it's just one of 200 so so yeah after that pic is chosen you go to your photo editing app and you edit that picture so what i usually do is i just go on visco cam and i click on my preset and that's all i do to my pictures let me show you how easy it is to manipulate pictures okay let's take this picture and make it better let's cinch in the jaw a little bit oh my god i'm sad <laughs> oh you have to zoom in okay you pay for this oh my god <gasps> what it took away my uh, it took away my mm. and with smooth you just smooth out your skin so your pores are gonna be gone i need some practice with this because my proportions are actually really bad right now yeah okay i'm done this took me five minutes this is the before and this is the after 
And then I guess you export that, save to camera roll, import that, and then you just add your filter. And wow, really sad because I don't look like that. God, oh my God, holy sh Oh my God, at first I thought I didn't cinch it for that much, but the before and after is insane. Oh my goodness, so make the butt bigger. That's looking kind of weird. Do that before and after boom boom oh my goodness wow <laughs> what did i just do let's make tits bigger titties titties yeah that's basically all you do on instagram you just make the waist smaller <laughs> oh cool <laughs> but you know this is just an exaggeration obviously you can make it more natural like that i guess um before after okay after seeing the before <laughs> everything just looks weird do this it's literally my bone that i'm actually warping there so it's kind of weird to do you know i don't understand people who tell me that i could look like this if i worked out if that's literally my bone that i just warped i don't know make the hips go a bit wider cool um picture is done obviously <laughs> I'm destroying the world, but that's how you do it. Before and after. God damn, this is insane. So the first tip is just zooming into the picture. And if you see anything being blurry or looking suspicious, then that's a sign that the picture is most likely photoshopped. This is due to the fact that warping things actually stretches the pixels, therefore makes the area go blurry. So another one is probably really obvious, but if the skin looks overly blurry and the eyes and the lips are super crisp and sharp, then it's most likely facetuned. Next tip, um, look at the surroundings. Yeah, you know, these Instagram influencers are probably worse than Wreck-It Ralph or King Kong when it comes to destroying cities. If you're really desperate and you want to know if your favorite influencer is natural or not, I mean, does it really matter? I don't know. Just put um, the picture in any photo editing app here I'm using GIMP and just play with the curves with the brightness, with the contrast, and then you will see every single detail. So if someone blurred their face, you will exactly see where they did the blurring. And you know, there are countless of steps on how to find out if someone's photoshopping their pictures. Okay, so let's look at an Instagram influencer who actually is so natural to the point that she doesn't even use filters. So as you can see here, if you put down the brightness, you will see that the texture of her skin still remains the same. On every single spot, there is no such thing as blurring. There you can see the texture, which is absolutely beautiful to me because that's, you know, human. And you will see that there's no area that is blurred on her face if she did edit her pictures this is how it would look like you know blurry blurry you sharpen the eyes and lips that's what it looks like you can obviously tell that the skin looks oddly blurry and unnatural let me show you a picture of me which i only put a filter on now you can see the skin is like it remains you know one texture because i did not edit it and on this picture i actually did edit out a pimple so let's see if we can spot it with this method and i believe you can actually see but the crazy thing is, if you know Photoshop, there's always a way to make those obvious things disappear. For example, if you're blurring the skin and everything's blurred, you can actually add texture to it to make it look like it's not edited. So editing that way takes a lot of effort and time. I do believe that some Insta models actually go to great lengths to Photoshop their pictures like that. So now let's talk about posing, flexing, and angles. Because you know, Instagram models know how to do that. Posing does so much already, like it's insane. On one pic, you could have the most snatched body. On the second one, you could look like a potato. Small top, big pants equals small waist. For example, Madison Beer does this a lot. It's actually a really good optical illusion if you ever wanna do that, I guess. And also, you know, arching your back will also equate to a smaller waist. So with that said, thank you so much for watching this video and i see you in six months again my voice got so freaking destroyed for this video goddamn